Hi guys, welcome to my coffee shop. My name is Jack and today I have an awesome video for you. Today we're going to compare two Cafetec grinders. Wow, yes! I will talk about similarities and differences first. Then we're going to do the most important. We're going to pull espresso, two shots of espresso on each of those grinders with different coffees and different profiles on this end. We're going to do pour over and I will also do flat white. And by the end, we will try to find out which one is better. And if both are great, what are the differences between those two? I'm genuinely excited about this video because depending on the results, I might need to sell one of them at the moment I'm not sure which one I should keep. Hopefully this will help. If you're as excited as myself, definitely click like, consider subscribing and well, let's do it. If you don't know about Cafetec, it's a company based in US. They specialize in making those grinders pretty much hand assembled, small batches. Whatever components they can produce, they do produce themselves. Engines, I think, are from Japan. Pretty much everything here is about the quality. Quality of bearings, quality of burrs. Burrs are aligned, so you don't have to worry about that. Longevity of those grinders is extreme. There are a few things that I don't like about those grinders, but I would say they are more cosmetic than, uh, than the important stuff. The grind indicator I'm not a fan of. The, both of those grinders are espresso grinders mostly. You can use them for a pour over and we will. But the scale on the grinder does not cover the entire range. So you would have to put another sticker. Yes, they use a sticker as a grind indicator to know where you are for the pour over. I'm not the big fan of how they look. I mean, I got used to it and now I appreciate that design. You can upgrade to different colors, but it costs a lot on top of, of hefty price anyway so I went for the basic models in each video I show you this is the dosing cup that comes with the grinders kind of does not fit the style the grinders they do not come with the catching cup so as you can see I put my own version of the catching cups because I don't like to grind directly into the porta filter but the good thing about the cafetec is that they are ever changing yes you have to wait for like a six seven eight months from your order till you get your grinder but they keep changing and they keep upgrading them. So there are new versions coming now where they improved few things. So in both of those grinders, you won't see that cup anymore. They improve to a better looking cup. They also listen to our complaints and they improve the grind. I mean, we're going to get a proper grind indicator now, which looks great and is more functional. <laughs> and also they're going to attach like a knocker that helps to remove all the residue from the chute. The chute is very short and magnetically attached, but still that should help. Functionality I'm sure would be great. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the look of that knocker. The biggest change now it's coming with MC5. You know longer will be able to buy MC5, there will be MC6. And they changed a lot. They put a different engine, they put a DC engine inside, which the longevity is even longer than the previous one. You can regulate RPMs up to 200. You will get a light where the switch is. And obviously all the other components that I mentioned. So yeah, exciting times for a Cafetec owners. Apart from the engine, obviously, the rest you can upgrade. So you can buy from the Cafetec and maybe I will. It's a a great thing that this company actually listens to the customers a big big plus when I first got MC5 I thought well it's a big grinder but then I got Max 2 and Max 2 looks even bulkier although the weight it's kind of similar I will put some numbers on the screen the main difference is MC5 it's a conical grinder and Max 2 is a flat burr grinder but both of them they use that dual burr system where you have conical burrs on top they crush the beans into smaller bits and they slowly feed them into the main burrs. MC5 got 71 millimeter Shuri cone burrs and Max 2 got 98 millimeters Shuri can burrs and I went for the SW option here. You can choose from a few different options. All those burrs are alpha coated. They are designed to grind and grind for pretty much forever. Around 800 kgs of coffee they say. MC5 got a set RP at 120. Now with Max 2 you can regulate the RPMs from 22 to 400. Normally I use it at 200 and that's what we're going to use it at today. Okay so let's grind 18 grams of coffee on the espresso settings. You will be surprised how quiet they are.
often I forget to turn it off and it won't turn off by itself. That's something that they could improve in the future. On both of them I use the hot start. By the way, I found that 0.1 from Max 2, it was in the shoot. And this shoot for the MC5 is clean. So let's pull the first set of shots. Uh, I'm going to use a coffee that I roasted myself, coffee from Thailand, very juicy, light roast. As always, I will try to do the blind tasting. I know with just two samples, it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. So underneath each cup, there will be a number. Number one is for MC five and number two it for flat max two well let's do it two shots are ready the extraction maybe could be better but again that's a very light roast coffee let's choose one at random cheers Definitely sharpness in the taste, nice smooth body, little bit of the bitterness, neat finish, bright shot. I like that juiciness here. Yeah, uh, pretty much every everything that I would like from the shot. Let's taste the other one now. Some water first. Cheers. Body still smooth, L less of the clarity, less of the sharpness in the flavor notes. But there was that bitterness in the first one. Here it mellowed, but also the, the sourness mellowed as well. Still very good, very satisfying shot. Maybe even more balanced because that sharpness lost its edge. Interesting. So there is a difference. Both shots very good. And it's all depend on what are you looking in your shot, what are you looking in the coffee. If that sharpness it's your main priority, then the first shot that we tasted, it will be the shot for you. But with that sharpness, every taste notes, all of them are magnified. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. The second shot, at first I thought it's it's worst, but then I try I started to appreciate that there is more harmony. Because the notes are quieter, they play nice together. Often I would go for the first shot, but for today, the second tastes better. So the shot that won today, what is it? It's number one. I, I was kind of suspecting that. That's what the MC5 especially does. Cleans up the flavors, maybe takes away some of the sharpness, but also lots of unpleasantness. Now we're going to pull another shot because I want to try a different ratio. For this shot, we're going to use Monmouth Coffee Roasters. This one is coffee from Peru, and this is a medium roasted coffee. I will use my magic now, and I will just create those two shots out of thin air. And the shots are ready. If only in a real life dialing in the coffee was so fast. I actually use very similar grind settings. So let's choose one at random. Cheers. Balanced shot. There is a sweetness. There is some sourness. Sweet chocolate. Juicy body, yes. Red grapes, I'm not so sure. Nice balanced shot and again, good body. Let's compare it with the other one. Some water. And the other one. Sharper. Sharper notes again. So I already suspect which is which. It almost immediately like hits you. More sourness, more juiciness, slightly more bitterness. But the shot is more lively. In the previous set of shots, I went for more like a balance and a harmony. But here I think I appreciate the vibrancy of this shot a little bit more. So I will choose this one. And is it number two? It has to be has to be number two. The same difference than in a first attempt, even with the different coffee, different profile. Now let's quickly do a flat white. Why flat white? <laughs> because that's what I mostly drink. I start my day with espresso, but then it's usually flat whites. And I always use oat milk. Today we're going to use this one. This one is a very good one. I like it. 
I also have this one. If you ever see this milk, this is the worst oat milk I tried so far. It tastes sweet by itself, but when you mix it with coffee, it makes everything taste really, really sour. The same coffee as we used before, the same profile. Let's do it. You hardly ever see on this channel me making uh, milk-based drinks, mostly because my latte art skills are terrible. Let's choose one at random. Cheers. Mild sweet kind of obvious that the flavor notes are less pronounced when you taste the coffee with milk some water and the other cup i'm getting more of the interesting like a deeper flavors in the second cup that i've tasted so therefore i'm choosing this one the first one very good you know you drink coffee but this one you can look for those kind of details of the coffee so the coffee that i went for it's number two, max two. So max two won uh, <laughs> the flat white challenge. Wow, it's not what I was expecting. Okay, so now the time for the pour over. We're going to use a simplify and we're going to use coffee from Square Mile Coffee Roasters. Well, let's do it. Let's choose one at random. Cheers. Well balanced, no flavor notes that would be unpleasant or too sharp. Some plums I can taste. Nothing extraordinary, but a very, very good, very decent coffee. And the other cup. Kind of a drier, crispier flavor notes. Neat finish, more of the fruitiness I'm getting in this cup. More separation of the flavor notes. I will be choosing this one. It gives me more fruitiness and that's what I'm looking for, especially with the pour over. But the first one, not bad at all. So the cup that I went for, number two. Flat max. We would expect that, wouldn't we? From the big flat burst, you could see the difference in the coffee bed. Coffee bed from MC5 was slightly muddier. That's probably why I got so little bit more body and kind of those deeper flavors, which were okay. But if you are looking for clarity in your pour over, and we often do, uh, then max two would be the grinder for you. Oh, guys, so here we have it. It took me at least four hours to record all of that. I drank so much coffee, but at least I'm happy with the results. You know why? Because at the beginning I thought if one is much better than the other, there is no point of having two. But here we got two different grinders. I tested them, I put them side by side. What I've noticed is Max 2 give me that extra clarity and gives me that extra sharpness and that's what I was looking for. I was slightly disappointed at the beginning when I got Max 2 that the flavor notes were not as sharp as I would expect but since then I lowered the RPM to 200 uh, that increased the sharpness and that clarity in the flavor notes and now I have two grinders that do complement each other. MC5 gives you that nice satisfying espresso. You can still get clarity, slightly less body than you, you would expect from the conical grinder, possibly more body than you would get from Max 2, but the satisfaction of shot is great. Overall, pretty much every shot you get will be tasty. You will get better and worse shots, but they all will be within that parameters of tastiness. Max 2 take your clarity to another level, and that's often a good thing but it could be a bad thing you will get all the fruitiness all the interesting notes but sometimes like what happened today you can also get those bitter not necessarily super pleasant notes so if i was to recommend just one grinder probably mc5 would satisfy more of you flat max 2 would be for those looking for separation of notes and those who are chasing for the nuances in the coffee but every now and then you may get a coffee that does not taste as good as from MC5. Max 2 is more expensive but it offers you a little bit more. The regulated RPM allows you to be able to experiment with those flavor notes a little bit more than MC5. MC6 would will also give you the RPM control but I haven't tried it. So what should I do now? Which one should I keep or should I keep both? Very tempting. If there is anybody in UK who would like to make an offer on any of those grinders let me know. We may make a deal. 
If you are a happy owner of any of those grinders, let me know about your findings. I know that not many people are as crazy as myself to purchase those high-end grinders. But if you could choose just one high-end grinder, does not have to be Cafetec. Which one would that be and why? Please let us know in the comments. Plenty more things coming. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack, this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you, bye!